3D Dot Game Heroes. This game is to Zelda what Spaceballs is to Star Wars. An absolutely brilliant parody of the Legend of Zelda series. And like Spaceballs, 3D Dot Game Heroes honors the Legend of Zelda series, a link to the past in particular, while improving upon it in some ways. Spaceballs did the exact same thing. Because you can't tell me that when you're in the mood, that movie is not actually better than the Star Wars trilogy. Rick Moranis playing with his dolls? Classic. I think that uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes a actually outdoes the Legend of Zelda in some areas, but you have to remember that there couldn't be a 3D Dot Game Heroes without the Legend of Zelda, as there could not be Spaceballs without Star Wars. It's not a copy, it's a parody. There's 10,001 games that copy The Legend of Zelda. Most of them are forgettable. This game honors The Legend of Zelda. Because if you've, if you've played the earlier games, especially A Link to the Past, you absolutely have to play this game just to see how much it's clearly inspired the developers and how much fun they have with it. Because the gameplay is exactly the same, and the storyline is pretty much identical too. But instead of playing Link, you can play as Santa Claus, or a ninja assassin. 3D Dot Game Heroes comes complete with its own intentionally mangled English. If you don't have a sense of humor, don't even try to play this game. Just stare at a wall and complain about sunshine and flowers, because they're out to get you. Especially the flowers. Seriously, no, they really are out to get you. They're out to get all of us. The biggest compliment that I can give 3D Dot Game Heroes is that it's as well made as it is clever. And that's impressive, because it's really clever. I absolutely love the visual style in this game, and they even make fun of it in the beginning, going from a 2D world to 3D, making fun of itself. The lens effect that they use during gameplay is absolutely fantastic and enhances everything. It has a very shallow depth of field enhancing the blurriness around the outside of the screen, making what could just have looked like an imitation LEGO game come alive into what we have here. The world of Dotnia. So take that, Hyrule. Dotnia is in effect. And uh, you don't play as Link in this game. You can name your own character. And in fact, you can choose from a variety of characters and you can even create your own character with a character creation tool. If you have the artistic ability and the time, you can make just about anything in their 3D dot style. Here's a look at my tank. I'm playing as a tank, one of the uh, characters they give you, and I'm putting a little red light on the top just to show you how this is done. I wanted to create a giant walking beer mug, but it really would take about a week to actually create that. The gameplay, which I think works best using the D-pad on the PlayStation 3 controller, making it feel like the old-school Super Nintendo classic, A Link to the Past, is classic Zelda. Adventure, puzzle solving, some side quests. Instead of hearts, you collect apples for more health. You've got the boomerang, bow and arrow, bombs, and uh, when your health is fully powered up, the sword is <laughs> it's like half the size of the screen. I don't care what anybody else says, this is on my top 10 list of best games of the year, without question. And I can't let this game get through a review without complimenting the music. It has that great old school throwback video game music style with amazing production value. 3D Dot Game Heroes will surprise you with its audio. If you're playing this on a nice surround sound system, you'll, you'll be immersed in the world of Dotnia and old school gaming. Now, I think it's safe to say that if you did not enjoy the older Zelda games, then you may not enjoy 3D Dot Game Heroes. 
Maybe you've never even played the older Zelda games. You know, what the heck then? Uh, start with this one, and go back and play the originals that inspired it. The fact is, uh, a certain company doesn't really produce these games anymore. At least uh, not in the classic form. So I'm glad to see that somebody does. Good, old-school inspired RPG adventure. I'd like to see the designers of this game tackle one of my favorite classics, Fantasy Star. They could, uh, they could spell it differently with an F. Fantasy spelled with an F. That's crazy. Instead of a 16-bit game, it could be 17 bits. 17 bit dot game heroes. Look at the colors. The one extra bit makes all the difference. Until then, 3D dot game heroes is the game to play.